Well, community gardens aren't something that only benefits the gardeners who are a part of them, but something that the entire community can enjoy. New this morning, Aaron Fields reports on some unfortunate activity taking place in some community gardens in the Bismarck area. Aaron, good morning. Good morning, Tim and Alicia. As you all know, we have gotten some reports from people mm -hmm. in the community saying they have gotten their produce stolen out of their community gardens. And we did have one local who recently got a majority of his produce stolen just in the past couple of weeks. While the viewer did not want to go on camera, I did talk to the manager of the Bismarck Community Gardens that told me they just want people to show respect to our local gardens. It's for lack of better words, but you know, help themselves to the garden and, and some people have responded back as we have caught a few people doing it over the years that well it's a community garden and it's open and it should be free it's free I can take stuff but no it's not. There are well over 650 10 by 10 plots right here in Bismarck that serves over 250 gardeners right here in our area and they spend months and months of preparation trying to get ready for the upcoming year. There have been reports of people stealing out of local community gardens, which news says defeats the whole purpose of what they're there for. Community means about being the community of Bismarck, and it's developing a community in a neighborhood of gardening and gardeners. It's not about free garden. New tells me while it's not a huge problem for his Bismarck gardens, they do have around three to four instances every year, some worse than others. It's a little bit, you know, why they do that? You know, and I've talked to people at the gardens, and they say, all I can do is ask. If they see me at the garden, just ask. I have provided produce to people that have just come to the garden and said, hey, do you have any extra carrots? Do you have any extra potatoes? While they haven't gotten to the point of putting up security cameras or anything like that, they do want people to know that community gardens are not a place to pick up produce whenever you want. My hope is if somebody does go into a garden, that they eat it, they take it home, and they eat it, and they serve their family uh, for a very short period of time, not throw it under a tree someplace or throw it out in the street. And that would be my bigger concern. All extra produce in the community gardens do go to local shelters, churches, and soup kitchens. And they are looking to expand more gardens in the future and maybe a free produce garden like Fargo does have. But Tim and Alicia, I think if people were still out of mind, I'd put an electric fence up because <laughs> I know how, how much work it takes to grow stuff. And I Get a I little play, zap on yes. your way in. It takes a lot of work to put up an electric fence too. I <laughs> well, yeah, it certainly does. I don't think anyone yeah, would be stealing from me. It's a lot of That's hard true. work though and uh, you know the rabbit's probably taken off of it. So. Yeah, you're right. You're right. <laughs> All right. Thanks for that update, Aaron.